So, where are we at? What's up, dude? You took your shoe off? All right. <laughs> he has stranger danger. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna do a Sheffield docu-series. Nice, okay. Nice. And we're filming literally like everything. So smile, you're on candy camera. No! <laughs> <laughs> I had four sets of two. With 240 kilos, it should have been 240. I went 250. But it moved really well. It's, I hate this story, but it's like, I feel like I am injury prone, but I, I just don't know if it's me being an, an idiot and doing more than I should. <laughs> Where the pain is happening is like, here is fine. Like I can bend down, right? No pain. Yeah. It's just like right when here, when I'm actually like trying to squat and come up, I start to feel it in this, like underneath the kneecap, right at like the top of it here. It's good that it's not patellar tendon. I mean, there's a lot that we could do for it, but that takes a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. If it's patellofemoral, it should be relatively easy for us to take care of, you know? Simple how, as that. How long are we talking potential to not feel the pain? In talks of timeline, I don't think this is gonna limit you at all with your peaking. I think within, honestly, seven days, yeah. you'll be pain-free and you'll forget that this even happened. Well, four things. Not too complicated, pretty straightforward. We'll send it obviously in a PDF and we'll tell the box, we'll tell Jason. The so boss. we'll make sure that you're doing the Spanish squats. <laughs> cool. But realistically, I mean, it's really good that it felt good today. It should feel better every day. And this is just gonna be a nice way to kind of accelerate that healing. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I have you guys on my side. <laughs> We're glad to be here, man. It's awesome. See you nice guys. See you, good to see you too. Thank you Thank again. You. Yeah. Bye. 30 minutes. All right, so I haven't mentioned this to anyone yet. I'm dealing with a little knee issue. Uh, nothing, I think you heard, nothing too too bad. Just some, uh, some discomfort. But that's powerlifting. I think we all have to just figure out a way to work through certain obstacles and this is just another that we'll have to navigate.
just hit a double on squats. We have a SPD day. And I'm slowly ramping up the volume. My coach and I, we've, we've discussed what the plan is. We have it planned out until the Sheffield itself. And we are hitting doubles today for like RPE four to six. So we're going 507 pounds, 230 kilograms. And it feels good, it moves really well. We're still fighting a little, like some nicks and, and pain and, and whatnot, but nothing that's hindering performance right now. So just riding this wave, gonna continue doing rehab still and feeling good. It's a, it's a late night, but energy is high even though it's probably not coming through on the camera but like internally I feel I feel good so yeah I'm ready I'm ready man this this prep we're in the second week right now this is day three uh, you guys have no idea like how fired up I am um, I just hope my body is able to stay intact because like if, if my mind and the fire that I have burning internally matches my body and we're able to come together on meat day, you guys are in for a treat. wrap up this session so we are officially 11 weeks out um, we're almost wrapping up almost 10 weeks out now so just finished up my work day three SPD day did very well um, feeling pretty good I'm beat the hell up though I'll tell you <laughs> for only two weeks into prep I am hurting I'm staying the course uh, I'm communicating with my coaches to make sure that everything is like okay and making sure that we're on the right path uh, because we always make adjustments along the way it's we have a plan but we never truly stick to it we always iterate so that's for you guys listening always do that even though you have a plan you have to deviate from it occasionally because things arise things pop up and you just have to pivot and go into a different direction so We'll see how this prep does go, but I'm feeling very well. I'm, I'm excited for this entire series because you guys get to see kind of what I am doing leading into the Sheffield. I wish you would have been around for 2021. Uh, I wish I was filming leading into Nationals because you guys would have really, I think, enjoyed that, but I'm giving it to you now. So enjoy. That's going to be it for the video. So we'll see you in the next one. Let's go. So now we are in the end of episode two and unfortunately after this this SPT session on my last rep of deadlifts I strained my back. Um, I think it's my glute medius. I met with the PT so this was a Friday that I did that today's Monday. I met with the PTs on Saturday and we're just doing rehab now uh, uh, it was to the point where I couldn't even walk on Saturday morning without pain and took some Advil 
distant rehab exercises, uh, was able to at least throughout the day on Saturday, it started to alleviate um, in terms of pain, but still hurt. So, um, but today's Monday, not not feeling too bad, but also not feeling great. I don't know if I'm gonna work out yet, uh, but if I do, I'll probably, I just text my coach and he said, if, if you can go work out, go work out. And if I can't put my feet on the bench, because he said, just do bench. And then for the squat and deadlift rehab, use that as my squat and deadlift day. Because today was technically an SPD day. Um, but for the bench press portion of the workout, he's like, if you can at least bench with your feet up with no pain, he's like, do that. So we're still going to try to bench. I'll probably go to the gym just because... <laughs> I, I am fiending to get in. Um, this is it. This is a part of the journey, and here we are. So I'm glad that you guys are getting a, a at least a look at what's happening behind the scenes. We have everything planned out in terms of every episode, but we want to talk through points that we want to emphasize on, talk about logistics, and, and just kind of make sure that we're, we're keeping you guys updated because, again, this is a very special docuseries because... It's the first meet of its kind with the Sheffield. You know, it's, it, it was supposed to happen in 2020. Um, unfortunately, COVID, right? So this is, we should have had three. This should be the third Sheffield, but it's the first. So uh, we want to document everything. We want to make sure we're capturing everything so that you guys have context. You guys are entertained and you have an idea of what the Sheffield is and what it can be and what it will be. So I appreciate you guys staying tuned and tuning in. Um, this is gonna be an interesting series. I know that you guys are enjoying it a lot because uh, I've uploaded two videos with the Sheffield and they've absolutely done uh, fantastic. So appreciate the support and follow the journey 